Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honour and privilege to welcome onto our stage Sir Roger Moore. Subsequently, she said everything that I was going to say, so I have nothing left to say. But congratulations. Thank you very much. So they fell in love with Harry Junkie and the police and they said, 
that he was going to be their director of entertainment. This was for C Division. So about four weeks later, he said to me, Roger, you're coming along to a dinner with the uh, commissioner of police and some very high-ranking officers, and you're going to make a speech. I said, Harry, I, uh, I, I, I don't make speeches. I don't know how to make a speech. He said, well, I will write a speech for you. So I said, fine. Now, Harry liked to drink Canadian Club. Well, he was Canadian. And uh, I went around to his flat. Uh, he says, I, I'll come around about six and I'll write a speech. So I came in and he said, have, have, have a drink. He said, thank you. Uh, now, what about the speech? He says, have a drink. Uh, he says, what? He says, have another drink. And this went on. And two hours passed. And by this time, he was very angry. And I said, where is the speech, Harry? Oh, he said, yes. And he sat down in front of his old royal typewriter. This was the day before computers. And he went, <laughs> and he handed up a piece of paper like this. I said, what's this? He said, read it. Ladies and gentlemen, and then you're humble. I said, that's a speech. He said, yes. He said, you know how to be humble, don't you? I said, well, yes, I, I know what humility is. He says, explain humility. I said, well, humility is a recognition that anything you have is granted to you by some higher authority, by some power, by God. It is only loaned to you. I said, uh, yes, and, uh, and an actor recognizes this fact. Every morning drops on his knees and he says, thank you, God, for giving me what you have and for making it so much better than anybody else's. <laughs> True humility. Humility is something that I think that you are going to need in your chosen profession. You have got to be able to smile at customers, even though they are a pain in the backside. <laughs> and I know they can be because I'm a customer. <laughs> those, those of you uh, uh, who are familiar with English television are probably aware of Michael Winner. <laughs> uh, nobody here. Michael, well, he complains about everything. Anyway, you'll get lots of those people that complain. I actually never complain in hotels. I'm a very, very, very good guest because I've always been looked after very well. Because I'm charming. <laughs> and humble. <laughs> uh, as Clive mentioned earlier, I uh, am affiliated with the Sheratons, the Starwood. And I hope that some of you will go to work for the Starwood, which I find is a wonderful, wonderful organization. And their chief uh, counsel, a man called Robert Scott in Brussels, 11 years ago, came to UNICEF and he said, I have a wonderful idea for fundraising. We're going to call it Check Out for Children. And we will add in the Sheraton hotels one dollar to everybody's stay, or one pound. Uh, so I was privileged to be able to launch this project, and since then, Sheraton, of course, has become a part of the Starwood Group and the Western Hotels, and it's a Regis Group, and it's a, an enormous organization. And each of their hotels, apart from the United States, adds a dollar to every bill or a pound, or two Swiss francs. And I did the first appeal for the, uh, the shows and the in-house television. And, I, and I, we, we shot it actually in a Sheraton, the Sheraton Belgravia, which didn't actually have in-house television. But anyway, that's where we shot it. And they prepared a script for me. And I said, you know, that what the idea was, the money collected went to help the world's children, UNICEF. United Nations Children's Fund, which I'm very proud to be an ambassador. And 
If you don't want this dollar or this time added to your bill, do go to the uh, representative of the hotel at the desk as you're checking out, and you say, please, I would not like this dollar taken and added to my bill. And they will smile at you, and they will say, you're a mean, dirty, miserable. <laughs> He says, no, you can't say that. I said, I'm only joking. I thought I'm not going to say that. But anyway, I have discovered that in the whole time, every hotel I go to, every Starwood, and I ask them, has anybody ever refused? Out of all the hotels, the hundreds and hundreds over the years, only two people have ever refused, which I think goes to say a lot for mankind. And that is where I really become humble. Because I've discovered that, you know, because UNICEF, I, I have to uh, preface by saying it is an organization that is a branch of the United Nations that is supported by voluntary contributions from governments, from corporations, and from individuals. It is not supported financially by the United Nations itself. So, subsequently, subsequently we have to have somebody, or a lot of people, to go around without shame and with humility, begging for money to help the world's children. That's our mandate. We have been quite successful, but we need to be more and more successful. And so I hope that those of you that do join Starwood will put it up to $2. <laughs> Congratulations to you all. I would just like to see one thing. I was dared not to do this. You want to throw your hats in the air? <laughs> okay. One, two, three!